Okay, so in this video clip, I'm going to take a look at uh, this Python code and implement a uh, Python code estimate black shoals implied volatility for call. And uh, this code is coming from uh, Kevin Mooney's GitHub. So if we uh, click on the link, bring us into Kevin's code, and he's some decent code there. I make a couple of changes just in relation to the dividend yield. So including a reference for dividend yield, and then it appears here in the parameters, and it should appear down also in the Vega. And we use Vega in this instance for estimating the implied volatility. It's not, um, the approach we use here is not by section, it's root finding. Um, okay, so if we go back to Vinegar Hill Portal, um, might also mention uh, Kevin has a YouTube channel and uh, I like it a lot. Uh, Kevin has a lot of videos here um, and uh, principally relate to Python. Um, and I think he's coming more from the engineering side and is branching in a little bit uh, to um, finance um, and that's good. And um, he has a bit here on regression and so on. So I'm going to have a look at those. Uh, I think they could be very useful. Also, the Monte Carlo section here is important for finance. Um, and I'm going to explore a little bit. So that's a shout out and a thank you to Kevin. Um, okay, so uh, to get this rolling then, we'll just copy our code. right? And uh, the first segment here just relates purely to the call copy and we can go into anaconda and um, and just to show you that um, okay let's take a look at anaconda navigator and then we would launch spider and that would then lead us into spider which should open then uh, should launch and we have an instance of spider open right so I'm going to create a new file and we can just load in the code and just make sure that we have uh, that we're sharing spider okay so we're sharing that okay so spider is uh, you can see the spider compiler and we we'll just paste in and uh, a couple of things to note uh, I'm going to change this uh, to zero and typically with these parameter values of 100 for the stock price, 100 for exercise, uh, T equal to one, risk free rate equal to 5%, no dividend yield. And if the market price of the option is 1045, then we're looking to find the volatility consistent or the implied volatility consistent with this market price of 1045. So if I run this, the value that I should obtain should be Let's we have to create a new instance. The value that I obtain here should be equal to uh, 20%. And we get very close to that. If I put in a two more digits, zero, 09 and run, right, we get, okay, 0 0.2. Okay, so we seem to be on the right track. And then I can make one more change. If I put in 5% here, right, if I put in 5% here and run, we get a value of uh, 0 0.276. Now I can go back uh, and just verify that result that 27% 62 with a dividend of 5%. We had some code previously. So if I go back to the portal for Vinegar Hill for a moment, just do a little check to see that, the, that this is working correctly and go back to some C++ code. Now we have JavaScript and we have uh, C++. So if I take this C++ code for a moment and copy, we have the same parameter values as for the Python code. So S, K, R, T, Q. And we're looking, the market value here is 1045. Now did I share screen? Okay, share screen, yeah. So I'm going to go into uh, online compiler. Right, I'm going to go into an online compiler and I'm going to create a new instance. Okay, online compiler, online GBD. 
and I'm going to select C++. Um, we just paste our code and we can run and we should get a value here of 20% as well. Okay, so if we change this to 0 0.9, we get close to 0 0.9, we get uh, 0.2 appearing again this is going up to server and then coming down and 0 0.2 okay now what if we change the value here to 0 0.5 for the dividend so s is the same as before k is the same r t q is set to five percent do we get a, a per, an implied volatility of 27 percent let's run and check and again a little bit of latency and we do 276273, 276. And let's compare that to what we had for if we go back to um if we go back to uh the spider for a moment and check, we have 276. Okay, so that looks fine. Okay, I'm gonna copy this uh code uh again. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go back into sh go back to uh, the online compiler and I'll go back to um, Vinegar Hill and I'll take the code for um, the put option and we'll do a little bit more checking for the put option right and we'll just copy copy this time it is the put option no longer the call option so we have a separate function for the put option value of implied volatility for a european put uh we'll go into an online the online compiler again online gbd and this instance we will select python and i will paste that code in and uh, we're going to use the value of 557 here and uh, when we run this the result we should get this is for a put option the result we should get here should be close to uh, 0 0.2 probably 0 0.19999 as before okay and we get that result uh, okay, let's um, compare it then against the C++ code uh, where we had before 100, 100, 5%, T is equal to 1. Uh, let's change this to 0. And let's change the uh, value of the put option. We have to keep in mind here it's a put option. Change that P to uh, the up the the uh, put call to an option and change the market price to five fifty seven for the put. Now, if we run this, it should be zero point one nine nine nine, which it is, and that's consistent what to what we had for the Python code one nine nine. We do we could do a quick change, uh, update this to. Um, dividend to 5%, see what we get out in the Python code. Remember, this is the Python code, 0, 0146. Go back into the C++ code, change the dividend to 5 for the put option, still 557, the market price, run that. And remember, we should be getting a result, result close to 0, 1469. 1469. So that the results are consistent for C++ and the Python code. It looks as if the Python code then is uh, relatively robust and I'm happy that it is uh, working.